Hey y'all, today I am going to make a what I think is a really good cool weather um, soup. It's great to eat by itself or to have some cornbread with it or crackers or just however you want to eat it. But it's real healthy for you and full of vegetables. And keep in mind you can put whatever vegetables you want into it. I'm just using what I felt like having today. So, to begin with, in my pot, and I'll show you it in a minute, um, I put about three cups of water, and I'm letting that come to a boil, and I'm going to add this um, boneless beef chuck CS, which I'm not sure what that means, rib meat, and it's just um, beef that's been cut in long strips it doesn't matter what kind you use if you use a tough um, uh, beef or whatever it will tenderize uh, because you let it boil for a while and if you see this edge looks a little weird it's because I turned on the wrong burner and had this sitting too close to it so be careful when you're um, using your stove so I'm going to show you my pot and it's as you can see pretty big and I'm gonna go ahead and just put this meat in here this is what it looks like but as I say use whatever kind of beef that you want and uh, just let it cook and cook maybe a couple of hours and uh, let it uh, simmer and it will tenderize and it'll make your soup really good so i'm gonna put the lid or i was but now i don't oh here it is i'm gonna put this lid on it and um just let it start simmering and when i come back to put the vegetables in I'll show you, but I'm going to go ahead now and show you what vegetables I'm going to use. And then while we're waiting on this to come to a boil and to, to cook, I'm going to uh, be cutting up the vegetables. But I have two green peppers that I'll add to it. I'm going to put this whole celery thingy into it. I'm going to put a whole head of cabbage, as you know, that cooks down quite a bit. I'm going to put this large onion. I have, I believe it's five zucchinis I'm going to put into it. And I believe that's it as far as the vegetables. But then, to help flavor it, I'm going to put some garlic and some of this beef 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 base it's um the better than um it no it's not it's tones i thought this was the better than beef or something but i don't have a whole lot of this in here and i feel like i want a little more than that and i don't have any more but I do have Vegemite. If you've ever tried this, it's really not good. But it's good if you mix it with other things. So I'm not going to put a huge amount. But um, I believe they eat this in um, Australia. And um, I think it's where it comes from. But anyway, for my taste, I don't care for it at all by itself. But in the soup it will be good and what i'm also going to add and i've done this for years and it's delicious believe it or not i'm going to add a jar of the three cheese pasta sauce that gives it a flavor that uh, is unique but it's watered down enough that it doesn't taste like spaghetti sauce and it's real real good so anyway i'll let this be boiling and I will come back to you 
when all the vegetables are um, cut up and we'll throw those in. Hey y'all, we're back and on to the next part of our soup. And I have let this meat boil for about, I want to say close to two hours and it is real good and tender now. And uh, you can see that it's kind of shredded. So it boiled down some too. There's probably mm, two cups of water. We can add more later, but right now, because the vegetables make a lot of their own uh, broth, I'm not gonna add any more water. But I have cut up all the vegetables and I'm going to start adding them. But I'm gonna add uh, some to the pot, some to the floor and some to the top of the stove. But I'm gonna put half of this in. I'm gonna kinda layer the vegetables. I know it's hard for you to see probably, I'm sorry. But I'm gonna put um, half of the cabbage. And then here is the onions and the green peppers all mixed together. And I did it kind of in bigger pieces. So I'm gonna add half of that. And this is the whole celery bunch. I'm gonna add half of it. And then here's the zucchini. And I'll add half of it. And then I'm going to go one more time, and hopefully I'll have enough room in the pot to add everything now, if this will cook down, especially the cabbage, in a, a short amount of time. If I can't get it in, I'll now I can get it in shortly. It looks like I'm not going to be able to, to put anything else in here for a few minutes. But anyway, um, that is it for the moment. That's all that it's going to hold. And I'm going to put the top on this. And I'm going to turn the heat up some. And I will go ahead and add the rest of the vegetables as I can. And um, let me go ahead and put the other things in it. Sorry, I just about forgot. This is the um, beef base. And I don't have much in there. But I'm going to go ahead and scrape out what I can. And then the Vegemite, and this is um, concentrated yeast extract, and I ordered this on Amazon a long time ago because I saw somebody eating it, and it, I thought it looked real good, and so I thought I would like to try it, and it is good, as I'd said before, in like a soup or something, but anyway... There's that. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some garlic because garlic is always good. And I'm going to put about that much. That's probably a good tablespoon. I love the smell of garlic. And then this jar of the four or three cheese um, pasta sauce and if you decide to use the pasta sauce you can use any uh, flavor that you want. I'm going to put just a tad bit of water and shake it up and get that last little bit out. 
I am really making a mess today. So that is it until I add the rest of my vegetables. And I will do that and I'm going to let it cook until uh, it's nice and all the vegetables soft. And then we'll come back and have a look and have a taste. Welcome back, y'all, and the soup is done. It smells fantastic. I haven't tasted it because I wanted to get a first impression in front of y'all, but I'm going to show you. This is what it looks like in the pot, and I don't think the light is that good, but this is what it looks like. And it cooked for probably an hour and a half. Everything's soft. Some, a couple of the vegetables still might have a tiny bit of crunch to them, but that's fine. That's no problem. I went ahead and got me a bowl so it could be cooling a little bit so it wouldn't burn my mouth when I tasted it. But I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. That is really, really good. You wouldn't believe what the spaghetti sauce does as far as adding that extra little bit of flavor. But this is really good. I didn't add salt to the recipe. I would probably add some salt to my bowl and pepper, but otherwise it's great. Simple to make and very healthy and um, good for these cold nights. So I appreciate you watching. Take care. Have a good uh, day, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.